Now we know that when we upload an image, as long as we don't reduce the quality on upload or reduce the size on upload, we have basically the image that the user uploaded. So in this case, I'm pulling this particular image that I uploaded from Upload Care's content delivery network. So this image is being delivered to me and I can use this within an image tag, really straightforward. So let's talk a little bit about how we would store this image in our database. Well, of course, what you would do is you would take the image UUID to this part here, and you could store that alongside your user record. Now that means that what you could then do is start to build this URL up, hitting this content delivery network and you'll receive this image back. But what happens when, for example, this would be some kind of avatar? Well, that's pretty straightforward. What you want to do is resize it. So you've got the UUID. You know how to place that into the URL. So this is the only thing that you need to store. And now we can start applying options to the end of the URL in order to actually start to scale this down, perhaps, or even just apply some effects to this. So over on the Upload Care documentation, you can see that we have an API for their content delivery network. And you can see here that the schema is pretty much what we've just spoken about. It's ukcdn.com and then the UUID. Pretty straightforward, we have this here. So let's start to look at things like resizing, scaling, and the quality. And then we'll take a look at what we use on CodeCourse. Okay, so the first thing is resizing then. Let's go out and search for resize here. And if we head down here, we have a list of image operations that are supported on this content delivery network. So heading over to the resize section, all we need to do here is pass through the dimensions. Pretty straightforward. So what we do is we separate each of these options by a hyphen and then follow that by the option. So for example, resize, and then we give something like 200 by 200. We follow this off by a trailing slash and we now have a resized image. Now you'll notice that this is kind of skewed a little bit. So if we just modify this even further, this isn't great, like this isn't looking good. So if your user uploads a image in a certain ratio and then you go ahead and say, well, I want this to be 100 by 200 pixels, it's gonna just, you know, it's not gonna look great. So this isn't always the best option, but we have something else that we can use and that is scale cropping. So if we again head over to the documentation and go for scale crop, you can see here that we give two dimensions. So just like before, this time we use the scale underscore crop option. So here you can see that this has achieved a slightly different effect. What it's done is it's scaled it down, but it's also cropped it, which is really useful. So this is particularly useful when you are working with resizing images to a very small size. So let's say we want the avatar to be 100 by 100. Now this is great because the image that I've uploaded is in a good size. But if we were to take another image that wasn't perfectly proportioned, we'd have a little bit of a problem. So let's roll with the example of doing this 100 by 200. Let's say we did want an image uh, in this kind of size. And of course, that's perfectly feasible. Well, what we can actually do is pass an additional option through to here called center. So what that will do is it will take the image, it will scale it down, but it will place the center of the image in the center of that newly scaled size. So you can see how useful this can actually be. Okay, so now that we've got this done, we'll, we can move on to something like quality. Of course, this is an issue because if you are rendering, say, lots of avatars, you might want to just bump down the quality just so uh, this is a little bit faster to load. So let's go ahead and search for quality here. And you can see that we just provide a value. And these are pretty straightforward. So it's normal, used by default. So at the moment, it will be set to normal. We've got better, best, lighter, and lightest. So this will just gradually lower in quality. So let's say we want the lightest quality. Let's go ahead and append this onto the end of the URL. So remember, we separate these by a hyphen. We choose quality, so quality, 
and we say lightest. And there we go. So we have not much difference, to be honest. But of course, if you do have a very high quality larger image, this will make all the difference. We can even check this by just inspecting the page, heading over to the network tab and refreshing. We can see the size of this. So we've got three kilobytes here. If we say, if we go over here and refer to this, say better and paste this in you can see that we get a six kilobyte image. Of course, this is a relatively small image anyway, but you can see the benefit of this when you start scaling up into say near to a megabyte for a file. Okay, so I think that's just about it. I think a lot of these options are very useful, but depending on your use case, they will obviously vary. So the best thing to probably do is review what the uh, code course website uses for a very small avatar image and we'll look at the default and we'll also look at the settings that we use here so this is my avatar on code course this is literally the url that i pull in so let's get rid of this and see the original image and uh, we need our trailing forward slash on there so this is a relatively normal size image that we've uploaded or i've uploaded to my profile and of course uh, this is too large to render within a very small area on the website, particularly like a tiny 25 by 25 pixel uh, image. So these are the settings we use for avatars. Very, very small because they don't need to be large at all. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is scale cropping this. Now, why are we scale cropping this to 1024 by 1024 centrally? Well, this just allows me to say well if an image is very large i'm just going to scale it down of course this could be smaller but it really just depends and we're just centering that the quality is best progressive which we've not looked at all this will do is progressively load an image so you can see here uh, return progressive imaging and there's two examples here of pro progressive imaging one is baseline loading which will load from the top down progressive will just start off at a lower quality and gradually return to its normal quality so that's quite important um, not necessarily for small avatars but if you have a very large file size and you're loading a large image and then we just resize it to 25 so without this option here so let's just get rid of resize you can see that this will literally just scale crop it to a very large size and then uh, likewise if we had say a resize uh, let's just do this to say 80 just so it's a little bit bigger like so now if we didn't have scale crop let's just get rid of this one well in this case it doesn't make too much difference because it's a very square image but if it was a slightly skewed image then you're going to come across some problems so what i would highly recommend you do is just play around with lots of different image types lots of different size images lots of different ratio images and see what works best for you but generally these settings work really well for what we're doing and for such small image sizes like 25 size images or 25 pixel size images this works really well and we're scale cropping it to uh, a kind of uh, very square image so that makes a lot of sense so obviously the benefit to doing this is that if you are for example on your website rendering out a user's avatar you might want this to be a different size in different places on the website well of course that means all you really need to do is say well somewhere else i want this to be 200 pixels somewhere else i want this to be 50 pixels for example maybe on a forum and you want the image to be slightly larger well in the navigation bar i want this to be 25 pixels there you go you have one option that you can pass through to some kind of method and you can resize the image like that. Let me switch over and show you how we actually do this on the code course website. So if I just pull this up in my text editor and head over to the user model, we have a avatar URL method. Now previously we're using Gravatar and we're still using that to fall back to a image if a user hasn't uploaded an image. However, in the database, if we're storing an image UUID, so we're just literally storing this part of the image we don't need anything else because we can define all of our settings and the URL in the actual method itself then all we're doing is we are hitting the CDN we're passing in the UUID we're passing in all the other options and when we do call this method say whether it's a navigation bar on the forum what we can do is pass an array of options in and all we're doing here is grabbing the size 
by default it's 45 but of course this can change the size will be placed into there as we've already seen and it works exactly the same for uh, gravatar as well if the user has a gravatar image and hasn't uploaded an upload care image so this works really well it's really the perfect solution because you don't have to handle any of the uploading yourself it would take so long for me to set this up on my own so that is how the CDM works and it's really just the magic factor of bringing all this together actually implementing this is really straightforward it's really easy to customize really easy to change around and of course once we've done this we have an even easier way to access images via the CDM.